Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe, I'm back with another quick insight and today we're going to be talking about Archipose in iClone. So if you are an animator and you want to create custom animation for your characters, for your short film, for your animated series, and you want to use keyframe animation and you want to use motion capture, then Archipose is one of those tools that I think will be a great resource for you. Uh, let me go back to the website over here. So we're going to be looking at uh, Archipose right here. And what it does is that it simplifies character animation if you're doing a keyframe animation. It's very tedious, guys. If you want it, like, for example, for my character here, this is the Adventures of Unkoza and Nancha for my animated TV series. And uh, these are characters that uh, usually have stylized you know, animation or mov movement like in Pixar, right? And so if I wanted to, you know, pause this character step by step, and let me do a control seven to get out of our full screen over here, out, go over here, click on edit motion layer, and then start to move the points one by one, right? So I can, for example, move this arm and press E, for example, to rotate like that, right? And you can work in IK mode or FK mode, depending on which uh, you prefer. But it, essentially, you're doing this manually. Even if you're using IK mode, right, you are able to move this hand, right, and you're able to do that kind of movement. If you're blocking out your animation, that will take a long time trying to do that step by step or keyframe by keyframe especially if you have more than like 30 seconds of animation. If you're doing like a short episode and it's like a minute, two minutes, that will take you a long time, right? So that's where Archipose comes in, into play, right? So Archipose, you can find it on the Reallusion website by going to reallusion.com and Archipose. And you can see some of the highlights here of what you can do with it. Like it has, con you can control full body movement. You can have pause driven gestures like that. And these are all speeding up the process of being able to block your shots out. This is really great as a keyframe animator to be able to, to have like a great starting place, right? And what it has also is it has like this bank of animations that you can use to be like a, a starting like block of sort of like a foundation so that you don't have to hand key or a hand pause every single movement that you want. It comes in several flavors. You can subscribe, you know, for $8.25 per month. And let me go over here so you can see they have a free version. The app itself is available for free. So if you go to your Realision hub and you click on the iClone tab, it, by default, it might say it might character creator might be clicked on, but click on iClone, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you see that this is Acupos. This is one point zero five, the version that I'm using right now, and they'll probably keep updating this even when we get to character creator five. And so this is what you need to start with. Install it because it's, right now I've already installed it, so you can see it installed. But if you haven't installed it, it will say install, and once you have it installed, it will show up in your iClone as this icon right here, right? And so if you go to plugins up at the top, you're gonna to see it as Acupause and you can check update status. You can know more about it. And there's also a manual online that you can use to go through, right? And the beauty of this is that when once you've installed it, if you click Acupause right here, it's gonna bring up this menu and uh, this called Acupause and you're gonna see several collections on the core of this, you're gonna have like free content that you can use, right? But if you subscribe, right? That's where the subscription comes in. Like if you pay the $8.25 a month, uh, or this is Acupos Infinity, and then there's Acupos Infinity for work group. Like I guess this is for, like if you want, uh, you have team members, like in a company or a, a small studio, this is what you would subscribe for. But if you're just uh, an indie filmmaker by yourself, you can do this uh, this one right here. So when you click subscribe, it's gonna show up in your account and it's gonna say Acupos Infinity, and then it will show you how long it's gonna last for that, right? And so, this will give you access to that. So that will give you access to different uh, packs of animation, like construction. So if you have like a scene 
where your characters are going to be like walking through like a construction zone you can do just construction if you have a model for fit like a female model for posing you know model male for posing office female like if you have a soldier right or a police officer if you have a rock singer right so these are all different poses like on the stage when you're about to you know hold that mic because trying to grab the fingers you know on your character and trying to pose those step by step take a long time so this is where this comes in so for my uh, animation right here because this is an animated series for kids guess what's in here so instead of occupation there's also daily life over here sit and stand and so these are the kind of like under sit and stand you have kids acting right so there are some things that are so innate to kids like being on the ground playing and then so if you double click on that it will automatically click that character to that's like i'm gonna do double click on that and automatically the character goes and sits on the ground so you can see this is in Koza for my adventures of Koza and nature series so already instead of me going from the character standing to pausing this i mean doing this pause as a block i already have like starting blocks so if you wanted to play with this rope i simply double click on that and now i can start the animation part of it and the beauty of this is that if i because i'm in archipose right now if i click the head and i decide to move it back let's say that rotate you can see like when i'm rotating the head the body is actually rotating naturally to to like pick up on what the character is doing so it's assuming and this has been trained on a like a variety of pauses they've created banks that intelligently understand so this is an amazing way of using like ai but inside of iClone. so you can see like when i move the hand the system is understanding that the weight distribution for this little kid is going to need to, it needs to be in that direction and when i move this one right here and i move it back you can see how the back is straightening out right i would have had to go through like high like point by point trying to pause this character and so right now the character is too close to the chair if i want to move it there's another controller back here it's like the root that one i use to move the character forward like so right and always keep occupos open because you want to have the system like listening or watching what you're doing so it can um, adjust accordingly right so that is the beauty of occupos this one right here so i'll do like go back like if the character he's on the ground he's playing with this and so by now if i wanted to bring some toys like maybe this toy right here i'll bring it and push push it on the i'll put it on the ground so Nkosa can play with that and I can always just adjust the head click uh, E to rotate and then he can look at us right like that and you can also change this to be local rotate so you're always using the local orientation of the head instead of uh, the global right so look at that <laughs> I love this system so much and it has really made me it made it so much easier for me to create uh, like animation for my episodes for the adventures of Nkosa and Nancha and this is really gonna speed up your work and you can go to the website and check out more features over here if you go all the way down you can see the core library this is the fundamental human uh, body movement and this is free to all iClone members so you need to have an account with a real illusion to use this please please whatever you do make sure you first sign up for a, a, an account which is free so you can have this core library available to you and then if you want to get additional resources that's when you choose to subscribe but off the bat you get resources that you can help you to like just animate your characters like block it out and then start to like Go from one part of the timeline to another part of the timeline and then you go to animate that and then they have like six categories of ai behaviors you have daily life occupation competition just like i've shown you right and this is great for fight sequences like if you have like a hero character alien character humanoids they don't i've not yet seen a, a park for animals just yet so hopefully they'll add uh, quadrupeds in there but most of this is mainly for bipeds right so um, ho I hope guys that you can check it out. Again, it's free to use. They have uh, two, uh, th several tiers for you to look at. There's a free version, which has 41 fundamental AI trained pauses. 
And then you have Acupost Infinity, which has 1000 themed AI trained poses. So this is like a system that already has a bank of animation trained uh, using motion capture sessions that they've created so that it understands if it's a cartoon character, if it's a kid, if it's a grown up, you have like all this array of resources over here. So, so in the core part of it, you have like uh, sit, sit ground cross legs. So I can just double click on that. And you can see how that is uh, like the result of that. But because this is not a kid, this is mainly geared towards adults, right? That's why for me, I prefer the kids act over here. And that as to be as a starting point. So if I click on that, you can see it mirrors more like what a kid would do. And then I can just click on one of the controllers over here, press the W key, and then I'm able to move it. And then you can see how the body is compensating because it understands what a kid's body will be doing in that situation. Then I can adjust the head. If I want the character to look at the camera, then I can just adjust the head like that. And then it's able to, and then you animate. So the key then is to go from one point of the timeline to another point of the timeline, and then move the character. And this again, this is just a, a preliminary just test. So you can see what it does, right? And then move this one forward and then go to another part of the keyframe. So let me actually click on fit to frame so we can see all of it. And you can see I've created a keyframe here and another one here. And so I can move the legs a little bit. And you can see how the character moved back a little bit. You can move that back and then adjust the head using the E just to rotate. Right. So now you can see that it has gone, it has created keyframes to go from those three points. So imagine if you were, if I'd had to do this hand by hand, like frame by frame for part by part, it would have been taken a long time, but that's, this gives you a foundation of how to start like animating these keyframes and you can still retime it by moving these keyframes so that you have a bigger transition between those three keyframes, right? So anyway, I hope this was helpful guys. I just wanted to point out that if you have custom characters that you want to animate by hand without using mockup, because not everyone has a motion capture suit, you can use Acupose to like block out these different animations and then use these starting blocks over here to give you a starting foundation for your animations. And then just go crazy with it. But this is amazing. Like if you want a character is on the phone. For example, my character is going to be talking to grandpa while they're in Uganda. And so I can just uh, go back and I can right click and say, and remove all the animation. And then I can just go ahead and uh, double click on him. And you can see he's now like in that position. And I can use the this one to position him on the chair right here and even rotate him. And I can switch to local like world rotate. So we can make him rotate like this way. And then use this again to adjust the head, move the hands. You can see how the system is compensating for that. And already it has put the hand over here, like almost the characters bracing themselves for that, right? So, and then if I need to fix the feet, I can just uh, drag this up a little bit like that and then continue keyframing from position to position, but using these as starting blocks of uh, the different uh, positions that you're imagining. If you have like a storyboard and animatic, you'll be able to use that. So thank you so much again for joining me guys today. Uh, I hope that this quick insight um, gives you uh, an idea of what, how Acupose works and the different arrays that, I mean, uh, like packs that you're available to you to use, 41 of these free ones. And then if you subscribe, then you have access to daily life, occupation, communication, action, adventure. And this is mine is valid through the end of the year. But this, whenever they add new packs, you're going to get access to all of that. All right. So 
Please dare to dream big as always. Take care of yourselves. I'm always encouraging you guys to not stop creating, right? Let's continue to use these tools to tell our stories. It doesn't have to always be realistic characters. You can still do stylized characters, cartoon characters like Pixar, like the characters like mine. I'm always inspired by Pixar, so that's why I'm doing this type of animation. But for me, I'm focusing on culture. That's what my animated series is all about. So if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go to the Adventures of Nkosa and Nancha YouTube channel. I'll put the description, the link to the description of this video so you can check it out. Please support us. And if you are creating your own animated series, uh, let me know how it goes. I would love to support you. Share a link to your channel so I can subscribe as well. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, please stay safe. Much love and thank you to each and everyone that, uh, everyone of you that has subscribed and thank you to all my patrons, guys. I do appreciate your support. Bye for now.